I slept like a baby last night. Anyway, it is road day. So we get to go home day. Uh, that's okay. We will start out with some breakfast. Uh, I've already made myself a cup of coffee. Good morning. Mmm. Delicious. Anyways, that was just a Keurig machine. Not my fancy, you know, pour over. Yum. <laughs> It's still tasty if you get good quality and good water, so we're all good. Um, so I'm going to make uh, grilled breakfast burritos, and it's just a super easy recipe. Anyone can make this. So I'll just go over the ingredients. I already got them laid out over here. All right, so we got a uh, potato, a, a little bit of onion, and I got fresh avocado, thick cut bacon, and some Tillamook cheddar blend delicious cheese I uh, got some tortillas some fresh eggs a little bit of butter and oil so I can cook after I render the bacon I can cook that in the potatoes and then I got some restaurant style salsa so like I said all super easy and of course my spice mix goes in all this so and oh by the way you can see that recipe or hear that recipe from me in episode one of my camping adventures all right, guys, let me get this set up and I'll see you in a minute. Bye. got my items that I need to chop up. I did, I diced a uh, Yukon gold potato, a quarter of an onion, and four slices of bacon. And then I'm going to put um, the bacon in, in my uh, fancy wok. Uh, I, I love to saute in this guy. Uh, so I'm going to put my uh, bacon, four slices in the wok and render the bacon. So that's what I'll be working on as this cooks I'll share with y'all um, real simple as soon as I'm done with the bacon I will then put that on a uh, like a uh, paper towel and I'll discard the grease and then I'll add a little canola oil and start sauteing the potatoes so I'll be back Bacon's rendering very nicely. I'm going to keep going until it's nice and crispy. I'll just take my spoon and separate those slices. There, this is when the bacon starts to crisp up quickly. So I try to keep it as even as possible when 
I'm sauteing bacon so that it doesn't uh, overcook the other pieces. So how I have it right now where all the bacon is in the fat, that's ideal. That's what you're looking for. Here, I'm going to take this bacon and I'm just going to pour it right in there. And all the fat will go into the cloth and not be ready for when I actually assemble the burritos. So I'm going to put my egg mixture together while my potatoes are cooking. So I've got um, six eggs, so I'll do three burritos. Um, and that's plenty for Cheryl and I. So I'm going to dice, or I'm sorry, dice. I'm going to open these eggs up, make sure I don't have any shell. And then I'm going to go with the uh, spice mix in with the egg. Oops, look at that. See, that's way. There you go. And um, the potatoes are going to be about two thirds cooked before I add the onions because I want the onions to be um, uh, fully cooked without being overcooked. So I got my spice mix here. And I'll just go with a couple pinches. All right. And I'll add a little bit of this on to the potatoes as well after they're done. Uh, so uh, as you cook, you know, it took about eight to twelve minutes total on, on medium heat, and uh, that's it. So we'll give that a little whirl. Let's see, yeah, uh, medium heat, perfect for this. And then I'm going to add a little bit of butter to this. Uh, little flat pan I got here and then I'll I'm gonna put it on low and when I put it on low it's so that I don't burn the butter you know burnt butter you brown your butter and then it doesn't taste as good so when I put the tortilla on the griddle it will be golden brown when it's done all right so I just whipped my eggs they're ready to go with uh, seasoning okay I added um, I'm gonna add my onions to my potatoes are about three quarters done and then we are going to saute this together for probably about four more minutes once it's um, once they're soft and translucent they're that's perfect and then I'm going to add my bacon bits to this and some more of the seasoning mix now the seasoning mix has plenty of salt, so I don't need to add any extra. Um, but I will say that it, if you like a little bit of extra salt, go ahead and put a pinch in. Um, but we're, we're, we're doing fine. All right, so those are looking pretty good. Now their uh, onions are looking translucent enough. Now I'm gonna season. You always season in layers. So I'm gonna go with about, oh, half a teaspoon or a little bit more, a couple, couple good sized pinches, and uh, yeah, there you go. Enough to coat all the potatoes and onions. That smells delicious. Oh my goodness! Yeah, right on. A little bit more, and so you got the texture of all the potatoes being covered with the seasoning. That's a good amount of seasoning. All right, guys. All right, guys. So these are perfect. I'm gonna add my bacon. And see, all the grease isn't going in there because the paper towel absorbed it all. All right, now it's perfect bacon, perfect potatoes, perfect onions. And all I'm going to do now is add that mix, that uh, egg mixture. One more time. There you go. All right, so we're going to use my spatula now so I get it all out. There you go. All right, so just scramble these eggs. And once they get closer to being done, I'm gonna add just the uh, cheddar cheese uh, mix that I have from Tillamook. And no, they're not a sponsor. I just, I am literally miles away from them. And I absolutely have to say they're some of the best cheese for. All right, look at that thick cut cheese that they make in these bags, they're so easy. Um, and it makes life easy when you want to have good cheese. Not bad. Anyways, 
once this is all nice and uh, scrambled up I will add that cheese and then I'm gonna roll those burritos I'll be right back so these eggs are looking pretty good I'm gonna let them tighten up just a little bit more and there they are looking good so when they don't run off each other I know they're done okay and now I'm gonna add that cheese not too much just enough well, I'd say about an eighth of a cup at the most, maybe in ounces, three, four ounces of cheese. More than enough. All right, now I'm going to, while that uh, just melts in the pan, I turned off the heat. This is perfect. I can put my uh, hand over it. I'm going to add some avocado that I diced up to the tortilla. And then uh, I'm going to put a couple bits of some restaurant style salsa you can use your own favorite brand it's up to you and now that my cheese is kind of melted I'm going to add a third of this to the burrito okay that's a nice size burrito right there so that's about uh, three eggs worth two and a half eggs so I'm going to add the butter now to the, the griddle and I'm going to fold this guy up with a, make it like an envelope, like so. Just press with my fingers and then kind of roll it over so I get a nice tight feel. And then I put the seal side down so that I get a good seal on that burrito. So that's it. I'm going to grab another tortilla and add that a second burrito so Cheryl and I can enjoy our breakfast. Right. And a couple of this. Ooh, that cheese is gonna be yummy. Look at that, huh? And then I got enough for one more in there. Maybe Cheryl will, Cheryl and I'll probably split that because these burritos are big. All right, so I'm gonna move that over. Like I said, just kind of make an envelope and push down, and then tuck this underneath and put that right on top. And there you go. All right. When it's time to flip those babies, I'll bring you right back. All right. Got other pan out of the way. I can show you a better angle. So um, see that bubble? That's what you're after. Nothing fast. Just nice and light. And uh, I can smell a toast right now of this. And uh, yeah, those are going to be pretty delicious. And I got my fancy little. Let's take a look here. Almost, yeah, starting to get golden brown. Almost time to flip them. And then uh, then we get to eat them. All right, I think it's about right. I'm gonna flip this around so I can get to the first one I put down. Yeah, that's what you're after. Look at that, golden brown. Now, I put this one on a, about 30 seconds later, so I'm not gonna flip it yet because it's not gonna be that beautiful. That's so, like Taco Bell burrito. Yeah, right? <laughs> Cheryl, <laughs> Taco Bell burrito. I'll give you Taco Bell. I <laughs> think it's been about 30 more seconds. Oh yeah, that's perfect. There you go. Nice golden brown. Now the, the, the secret to this so you don't burn them is just a medium heat, nothing hot. Not too much flame. That's what you're after, that nice golden brown. And then of course, this, this is magic because the sun is just glistening over this. Look at that. It's a beautiful sunny day in Oregon. I can't ask for a better situation. All right, guys. All right, guys. That's how I make my breakfast burrito. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Um, we're going to wrap up today uh, by we're going to break down the um, RV and get ready for us to go home. Aww. So uh, we'll be back, though, before we leave. All right. Take care. I couldn't come back on without telling you how delicious these burritos turned out. What do you think, Cheryl? <laughs> I got her with her mouth full. Um, yeah, winner. Uh, sometimes it, I put a little dollop of sour, sour cream on top. And uh, yeah, they're delicious. I hope you enjoyed that. We put all our goodies away and wow, what a nice weekend, huh? 
what do you, time to head home. Time to head home. Yeah. Well, thank you all for watching our adventures. We appreciate you all. Um, again, if you like what you've seen, give us that thumbs up. And, uh, you know, if you want to subscribe and see some more, hit that subscribe button. And, uh, oh, yeah, don't forget that not notification bell. I almost couldn't yeah. say it. <laughs> That's going to smack this one. See you guys. Bye.